Hi guys, welcome to Quebec 9. My name is Ola Harry. This is another beautiful day of BTC profit. Yeah. So if you follow my analysis yesterday, you can see that everything was spot on. We really made a lot of, a lot of profit and we are here today again to see how we can also take advantage of the market, pay, make profit and be good. Now, yesterday if you follow my analysis on ING, you'll be in good good profit yeah likewise btc likewise ADA, and the likes yesterday my bias was short and everything went as planned okay so today let's see what btc has for us and um, let's dive into today's analysis and let's see how we can make some money yeah so let me clear all these lines though that this was the line from yesterday this is analysis so let's clear everything let's see what today have for us yeah, so if you see the gray lines, these are um, psychological levels, okay, round figures, you can see everything, 31,500, 31,000, you know, it goes on and on like that. So that's how it works. So if you want to learn analysis, you want to know, understand how all this thing works, then you can join our beginners class. It's really very um, advantage to you to ensure that when you're coming to the market, you can understand what you're doing. You know, just guessing, and that is very important. That when you're trading, you don't guess. You are spot on with your analysis, and um, sometimes you make profit, sometimes you make losses. So you have to be able to um, put yourself together to ensure that your profit is quite more than your losses. Okay? Yeah. So let's see what the market got for us today. Okay. So now, don't forget that when it comes to trading, my own analysis, my own strategy, right? I use confluence, right? I use confluence, um, demand and supply zone, support and resistance, right? That's what I do. And I look at the candle closure of a particular confluence. Yeah, that's what I do. Now, looking at this, now, we, we, we actually used this confluence yesterday, okay? This confluence. But to now, we probably don't need this confluence again because the market has created, we created itself, right? Okay. Now, what we're doing is... We're going to put a line here. Can you see that? So, that is the support. That is a recent support as we speak. Okay? Now, today my bias is long. Right? My, my, my bias is long. Even currently, I'm currently on this trade. My entry was somewhere here. Yeah. So, that's, that simply means I have early entry. So, from here from here yeah you can see that i saw that hammer you can see this rejection on the higher time frame and this is very very good when you see rejection on the higher time frame that shows you know a very um good trade and i'm on a lot of margin on this trade i can tell because I'm, i was very sure that i was going to make money okay so that's for my support then i will also identify my resistance so let's come here so this is my resistance. Resistance is actually somewhere here. Yes. So as you can see, my resistance, the market is actually very close to my resistance. And now, if I find out that, okay, the market is actually doing well, we are, if we close above, above this line, that simply means, that simply means this is, we're going all the way to the top. If we close above, yeah. Now this is our buy area. This is our buy area, and this is if we have to go short, then this is the sell area. This place here, as you can see, that place. This is sell and this is the buy. So that's the that's the um, actual ranging um, region that the market is ranging now. You can see we have rejection one, rejection two, rejection three. On the four hour time frame, which we have now, we are waiting for this candle to close for us to make our final decision. Okay. If we're, we're going to continue to go up or we're going to continue to go down because there are some traders already, they have made their entry here as short. Okay. I'm here as long. Right, so that that shows that I'm, I'm I also I'm already at the advantage of making profit. Now, if you now go all the way here, 
this is another way to go another place to go short okay so that's it now if you are not on this trade you can still wait for the market to come down or you go to the other time frame which is the one hour time frame and see another support but you know when you're trading on the one hour time frame support are usually uh, limited so here now look at this this is another support here can you see that's another entry for those who still want to enter this trade this is another entry for you this place yeah so it goes like this so can you see so you can go all the way all the way all the way to the top then this is it no so so on um, my video yesterday someone was asking me why is my stop loss usually very close yeah yeah that's exactly how i trade that's my own way of you know risk management risk you see your risk management is not just uh not losing a lot of money is also in how you manage your strategy your strategy has to you have to infuse that risk management into your strategy if not you will end up losing your account over and over and over and you won't like that and you won't even like trading at all okay you always be aggressive with the market you want to play revenge trading and you don't need that when it comes to trading okay you need to be calm you need to understand what you're doing all the time you need to go for what you know all the time and it will surely give you profit no matter what okay so that's how it is yeah so let's go to the lower time frame which is the 15 minute time frame where we all usually look for entry okay so if you're ready you can just place your entry right so this is your entry yep so that's it and you can see uh, your stop loss here so don't play with don't joke with it okay don't joke with it immediately this um um candle is closing below here it's already creating another thing entirely can you see you can see a double top can you see it you can see it pull back down trend. so you don't have to you know dwell on this and start to pray or start to hope that it will go up you understand so you have to be factual you have to be precise no guessing okay no guessing when it comes to trading yeah so that it doesn't look as if you're gambling so let's check another ing let's check this do we have is there any potential for us to make money here again so on the four hours time frame you can see you can see what we did yesterday very very clear very clean very clean very clean okay yeah so it's gone already actually though this place is looking like a potential entry but don't let's force it don't let's force it let's just leave it i always like to, well, this is already a buy but i like to buy from the support zone not from resistance so that's just the way i trade some people can just enter this trade and make money okay but as for me i would not do that so let's go for so i saw this tomo i think tomo is presenting a very wonderful opportunity let's see okay hey yeah this is it so if btc pumps right then i think tomo might give an opportunity to go short around here around here that's it. very simple so let's go here one hour time on the one hour time frame let's see. so you probably don't need to do so much okay when the market get to this place on the 15 minutes time frame you can look for a double top yes can you see that so if we're able to push we're able to push to the upside like this this is a very good entry to go short yes i can assure you of that if it is a pumps then it goes all the way here right then you take advantage of the pullback that's exactly how we're going to do it so you look for something like okay and some people will be expecting um uh, they'll be expecting signals for this you understand you know for you to send signals you have to ensure that you are always in the market to monitor and to ensure that you are you are coming at the right time okay signal is about timing yeah so that's it guys so if you have any question you can drop in the comment section share and follow for more analysis thank you very much guys and i'll see you guys in the next video bye for now